One goes forwards, one goes back. So we're getting rotation. Keep looking forwards for a second. So your pelvis is staying forwards. Your eyes staying forwards. So yeah, get that rotation through thoracic. Okay, now if you want to, turn your head the way the arms go back. And to work harder, close your eyes. One more each way. And back to centre. Little side bend. Tiny. And lift. Teeny tiny. Good. So that's the process. Keep it small. Or any other back issues. And if you're okay, you can go a little bit further. It's a lateral flexion. Think what's happening with your spine. Bend into the side. One side's obviously squashing together a bit more. The bones may touch. If you've got quite a bit of wear and tear through the back. arms back to bicep curl position so go to your right side shoulder press and back to centre so again you can keep this lateral flexion teeny tiny or you can go a bit further and push over the top of the head a bit more how are we getting on reaching over the top two Okay, arms down. Raise your right heel, place it down. Left heel, place it down. Right heel, feel your pelvis with your fingers or your thumbs. Is it moving? If it is, stop it. <laughs> okay, let's raise one heel, switch, foot pedal. Your pelvis is stable. Stable as a table. There you go, that's one for you. <laughs> Good. So you can quite think about those deep abdominal muscles. Working to keep the pelvis stable. If they're wobbling, they need to just help the core muscles aren't switching on. So a little bit more focus, like you're narrowing your waist slightly. Or you can think about drawing the shoulders together. <laughs> Okay, now the heel that's up, going back to those arm raises again, but this time with the heel raise. Keep your back straight, you're going to work muscles down your posterior. Okay, then if you can, add that rotation again, but keep looking forward. So we lay it in the legs as well. So really challenging any coordination. Four more. Center. Okay, now look at your feet. What's happened with them? Are they still the same? Look at my one there. It's moved a little bit. So I need to correct that. I can even use the back end of your mat as a marker. Okay, little hip hinge, tiny hip hinge. Sit your bum backwards. And then squeeze your bum to bring it back in. And again, hip hinge. And squeeze. So think about using your centre, slightly narrowing your waist, but then think about your bum work and your hamstrings and the muscles of your back. So if you can get this apart, you're a bit more flexible, you'll be able to go a bit further. One more. One more. 
Okay, so we have hip hinge squat. Hips back, bend your knees, and coming up. Check your knee alignment. Squeeze your bottom as you lift. Take one arm forwards. Then the other. Make sure you stay in alignment. We're doing single arms, obviously the weight's going to try and pull you slightly to one side. Good. Good. Okay, left, so. Step back with your right leg. Split squat, raise your left arm. Bring it back up, step in, step out with your left leg, split squat, raise your right arm, bring it up, step in, step back right leg, split squat, bring it back, step in, step back left, keep stable, straight back, just go about shoulder high with the arm. Or well, if you're okay with your neck, it's going to work your back a bit more. Step back right, turn the arm a bit higher. Keep good control. Modify as necessary. Step back left, send your bottom back. Raise your opposite arm up to the leg and it's behind. Keep going. Stride. Drop. Lift. Step back. Again, step, drop, lift, let's do one more each side, step back right, raise your left arm as you split squat, last one of these, well done. And back in. Okay, so a bit of balancing now. So do hold on to something if you need to, whether it's the back of a chair or a worktop or fingertips on the wall. Okay, so we need to challenge balance. One of our motor skills will be the important one. So use your core. Think about the deep abdominal muscles to set them. Transfer your weight onto your left leg. Let's start with the knee lift. Now the idea is that you don't lift your hip up, so if you want to feel with your thumbs, so you shift the weight across and lift your knee, place it down, move it across, lift, shift across, lift. Now add the opposite arm forwards, without leaning backwards. If you're holding on to something, just do the legs. Okay, can we go up and out? So we're going to go up, out. It's one of my favourite ones, you know that. Great for your hips and shoulders. And of course, your balance and your stability. Not flexing the spine, we're not overextending. 
You've not got your head lifted up like this. So as you squat, whichever angle your back's going to, that's the angle that you're looking at towards the floor. Okay, let's raise the arms. We've not done a endurance for a bit, have we? Can we hold it? So we'll do 10 of these, then we'll hold it for a minute. That's three. <laughs> Squeeze your inner thighs as you lift. Five. Turn the little fingertips slightly up. Six. And then turn the thumb up. Seven. So we should rotate from the arm. Little fingertip. Eight. Thumb up. Nine. Little fingertip. Ten. Now thumb up and hold it at the bottom unless you have problems with blood pressure. In that case, keep going. Okay, so you're holding the arms still. Challenging your shoulders. Get a little bit lower if you can. A little bit deeper. Lower, lower. Make sure your feet aren't rolling inwards. So push the outside of this foot down. Wiggle your big toe. You're over halfway. Come on, let's hold it. Your neck's free from tension. You're not shrugging. You're not getting tension around the neck. The ultrapesius. 15 seconds to go. Get lower. Hold those arms out straight. Come on. 10. I can feel it. Can you? You've got a few more seconds. Then we need to keep going again. Okay, let's release and then do a few more. We don't want to stop completely still. Stand up straight after doing those holes. We just need to do a few more just so we don't get dizzy. Oh, my shoulders. Last one. Oh, wiggle the feet back in. And a little march there. Well done. Okay, place your weights down. Bend your knees. Keep your chest up. Right. Ooh, shoulders, 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 shoulders. Have some water. Okay. Come down to kneeling at the back of your mat and have your weights handy. Okay, toes at the back edge. So, we're going to do a kneeling shoulder press. So we're going to do one shoulder press, walk forwards, one push up, walk back in. Pick the weights up. Then we're going to do two shoulder presses. Then we're going to walk forwards. And we're going to do two press ups. Get it? And then we're going to do three shoulder presses. Three press ups. Four. And five. And we'll see how we go from there. Probably take too long to do, do up to ten. Okay. So, from kneeling, then you can either kneel down or do your shoulder press kneeling up. Make sure you tuck your bum under. Okay, you're ready. Put your weights up to your shoulders. One shoulder press. Sit back, put the weights down. Walk forwards. Chest over your hands. One push up, full one if you can. Walk back in. Put your weights up, two shoulder presses. One, two. Sit back down onto your heels, put the weights down, walk forwards. Chest between the hands of your push-up, full ones if you can. Two push-ups. Walk it back. Pull on your heels, kneel up. Bring the weights up. Three shoulder presses. One. Two. Three, kneel down, weights down, walk forwards. 
We'll align yourself up. Three push-ups. Tuck your elbows in if you can. One, two, three. Back to low kneeling as you pick your weights up. Up to high kneeling. Ready? Four shoulder presses. One. Two. Three. Four. Sit back. Walk forwards. Into your push up position. Toes to a under. Four push ups. Inhale down. Exhale lift. Knees come down, walk it in. One more time. High kneeling, squeeze your bum. Five shoulder presses. One, two. Pull the ribcage down and in. Three, four, five. Walk forwards. Ready? Five push ups, half a go. Inhale down, exhale lift. Inhale down, exhale lift. Keep strong core. Set that. Three, four, five. And then walk it back in. And now we're going to do what's called a finisher. We're going to kneel up and do 10 shoulder presses. In a row. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, pull the ribs in, six, seven, eight, nine, if you feel anything, ten. And release, well done. Feel that burn. I'm going to go to shell stretch. Or a comfortable position for you. And a little rock. A little wiggle about. Flat on the floor or not. 
some under, take this axe apart. When you get to the top, open the arms out to the side. Tuck the chin in, squeeze your abs and roll up. Flex forwards, sit up tall. To work harder, bring the weights in towards your chest. Then reach up, open the arms, chest line. Tuck the chin in, roll up. And if you want to, raise the arms all the way up. Bring them in. Push them up. Open the chest. Close. Put the chin in. And roll it up. Two more to go. There we go. You should be in neutral when you're doing the uh, chest lying on the mat. Then flex and as you come up. One more. Weights down the side and a roll back. Give your knees a hug. Have a little rock, rock side to side. Massage the back on the mat. Okay, so let's do a good old opposite arm and leg. So Stability, get those deep slings, a crisscross around the body, so we focus on your centering and neutral. So you can grab your weights, get your start with the thumbs facing up, find your neutral pelvis, knees and feet hip distance apart, and your chin slightly tucked in, so you're looking for the bore ahead than behind. Just the arms, take a breath in. You're gonna go right arm up and just see how far you can go before your ribs lift up. If you've got any restricted movement through the shoulder or quite curved through your spine, your arm's not gonna go over your head. Or if you've got a block behind your head, <clears throat> your arm might not go down to the floor. So change your arms and see how that one goes. If your weight feels too heavy, do it without, please. Okay, now slide your right leg forwards, keeping the pelvis stable. So you lift it a centimeter away, and back in, and then the other side. So you want to keep the legs still. All right? So let's go. Right leg, left arm we go. Away, pull in. Put the gentlemen with the abdominals, then change. Spine stays the same shape, neutral. Go to do a tiny lift. Where you feel the sacrum on the floor. That stays the same. All right, legs up to work harder. You're gonna push it back down a bit more into the mat. So let's do the 10. Nine. So you can feel the back of your ribs having to push down a bit more and the front ribs pushing towards the back ribs. Back to a nice tabletop each time, a good tabletop. That's four. Round number six. Four more to go. Nine and 
place the weights down. If your knees are hook, just roll side to side. Let one leg go forward and pull your other knee into the chest. So the leg goes away. It's called a hip flexor release. It's not a stretch, it's a release. It just gives that a little bit of length in there. Okay, and then bring that one in, change sides, slowly slide the other one away. It's not too fast because it might cramp up. And then both legs, full body stretch. Okay, double leg stretch with chest fly. Bring the knees into the chest, feet together. Okay, if you can't do legs up, you could do legs down, slide them along the floor or put them on a ball and roll them. All right, make sure that your chin's tucked in. Use a cushion or block here if you need to. Arms in the air, back of the shoulders on the floor. Squeeze the feet and knees together. Inhale, prepare, exhale, arms out to the side, legs go forwards. Okay, and let's start from now, let's go. We'll do 10, one. Keep that chin tucked in, two. If you want to, you can curl up, three. But you might find that might be cheating a little bit. Four. So you keep your head down, chin tucked in. Five, you might find that works you harder. Six. It's hard to keep your lower back pushing down. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, weights go down by the side. Put the knees in again. So the next set of rest. 100. Okay, if you want to work your arms more, hold the weights in your hands. Don't bounce them if, you, if the weights are quite heavy. They should be too heavy. You can just hold them as you breathe in, put palms down, and you can turn the palms up. Or, if you've got the weighted balls, or one of these, you can put it between your feet. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put a dumbbell between my feet. Okay, legs go up. Nod the chin, curl up. I'll put a block under your head. Raise your arms five inches off the floor. And off we go. Breathing in. Two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, ten. Lower to work harder. Twenty in. Two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, thirty. Get your shoulder blades up. 40 in, 2, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 50 in, 2, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 60 in, 2, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 70 in, 2, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 80 in, 2, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 90 in, 2, 3, 4, 5, out, 2, 3, 4, 100. And breathe. Whew, have a stretch out there, well done. Okay, roll onto your side. We're going to do the young waiter. We're going to lift the top leg up and down. Or, if you can balance, if you've got good balance, you could raise both legs slightly up and down. But really small, you're going to try and keep a gap under your lower ribs. Okay, doing both legs is going to be hard. And make sure you've got good technique. So look at your pelvis. Have you got a straight line, a full line going from hip to hip? Or is it too far forwards, too far back? Are your toes at the front edge of the mat, heels in the middle? If you need a block between your arm and your head, or your cushion, pop that there. Okay, hand in front of your chest, there on the belly button, elbow on the side. Let's just start, let's do, a demo, let's do a little test. Inhale, prepare, lift your arm, lift the top leg. If you're wobbling, you need to bend your bottom leg. 
Let's try both legs. Okay, let's do 10 more of whatever one you can do. Two, so one, sorry. Two, now you're keeping a little gap on the other two ribs. Point your toes, three. Lengthen those legs like they're being pulled out of the sockets. Four. Five. Six. Elbows staying on the side. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Oh, well done. Oh, I feel the back of the shoulder, that rotator cuff muscles working hard there. Take hold of your top foot. Fold the knee back. Pull the knee back. Feel the stretch of the front of your thigh. And you release it there, well done. Let's go on to our back again. I'm going to do some hip rolls. So, with the weight, if you've got a weighted ball, so the weighted balls are the best for Pilates because you can put that between your knees. Okay? Uh, I'm not sure holding a dumbbell between your knees is very comfy, but you can try it. It's not too bad, depends on what it's made of, I guess. Arms out to the side. Okay, use a little cushion under your head if you need to. At the back of your shoulders, down the floor. All right, so let's take the knees to the right, stacking the side of your left foot against the side of your right foot. And bring it back to center. So just start with that easy roll. Okay, can you exhale as you go out and inhale as you come in? Okay, we can extend the top leg. All right, that, that doesn't really work with a dumbbell, so I'm gonna get rid of it. It'll work with a weighted ball, though. So if you've not got them and you want them, let me know, because I've got them. <laughs> I've had loads of them in stock for ages. I've just not got around to even trying to sell any. So side to side. Okay, so next level, legs come up into tabletop. Make your move a bit smaller. And check that your shoulders don't move. So the control part is keeping your shoulders down. And pulling your ribs in and down as well. Watch your back doesn't start to really flare, or the ribs flare up too much. So pull the ribs down and in as you come back. And then more advanced, you add the single leg kick again. Got that. The weight of that upper leg pulling under your obliques. Okay, one more each side. Straighten it up, do a little hamstring stretch. Just a little a maintenance stretch, and we'll do some bridges. Change legs, another one up, slide that one slowly forwards. So, nothing behind the head, just make sure you're on your mat. 
Or if you do need something behind your head, it's just not too big. And you also won't roll up as far. Alright, I'm just going to have a drink of water before we carry on. I'm really thirsty today. I had like, the biggest size popcorn last night in the cinema and I feel really de dehydrated. Whether that's a thing or not. But. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the centre line, uh, with your weights, if you've got the weighted balls, you can put one between your knees, or you can put one underneath each foot. With the dumbbells, you can rest them on your pelvis if you want to. Okay, so we're going to take a breath in, you have to hold on to them though, that's the only thing. So we're going to inhale, pelvic tilt. Lift up. Just make sure you don't shrug your shoulders. So you're squeezing your glutes, then roll back down through your spine, one vertebra at a time. Back to neutral. Okay, any problem to the spine, you might just want to go up to your lowest ribs, not go all the way to the top. Squeeze your glutes and roll it back down again. Roll, roll, roll back down. Lift, or you can raise the arms up and keep them there as you roll down. If the rolling move makes your back uncomfortable, just lift straight up. If you're okay with your neck and shoulders, arms go behind, then roll down. And then bring the arms up to the top. Tilt, squeeze, lift. Arms go over. Roll it down, neutral, and then bring it back to the sky. There's so many options, isn't there? Too many. I should just give you one to say I do that. <laughs> Roll down, and bring it up. Excuse me, flashing the tummy now. Squeeze your bum, hamstrings, back. Great for your pelvic floor muscles. Okay, last one. Tilt, squeeze, lift up. Have a reach. Squeeze your bum, pull the ribcage in. And roll down. And bring the arms back up and over. Well done. Okay, we need to do the other side now, rotate the cuff muscles. Oh, sorry, stay there, stay there, stay there. Hamstring stretch again. Stay there. <laughs> I meant to do hamstring stretch first. Just so we don't have to come back over again. Because we're on our way round now. So one leg up, hamstring stretch. I try and keep the transitions from you to as smooth as possible, but you know. Okay, change to your other leg. Just lengthening the muscles. Trying to release any lactic acid that's built up in there when getting overload. Toes forwards a little bit, align your hip bones, the aces bones, check that if it's stacked. Lift your ribs off the floor, the lowest two ribs, and place your weight on your belly button, elbow on the side. Point the toes, lengthen the legs out of the sockets. So here we go, take a breath in as you exhale, do the dumb waiter, and top leg tiny lift and lengthen. Try not to hitch your hip up towards your ribs. Okay, try both legs, 
If you wobble, stick with one leg. Okay, 10 more from now. We go, one. Point the toes. Two. Three. Can you feel your lower ribs push into the floor? Four. If they do, that means you're letting your hips move. Five, it's really hard. Six. I find this side always harder than the other. Seven. Eight. Maybe lift it too high, and then tiny little bit lower. Nine. One more. Ten. Grab hold of the top foot, bend the bottom one, pull that knee back. You'll stretch down the front of your thigh and your hip. Okay, and then let's sit back into shell stretch. Slide your arms forward, sit your bottom back. Superheroes. Okay, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. So, a centering stability exercise. You can always do it lying down on, the, on your tummy, lifting your opposite arm and leg if you struggle on your wrists and knees. Okay, so we've got the weight in the middle there. Take it into your right hand. Breath in to prepare. Exhale, send it forward and the opposite leg back. Inhale, bring it back down. Change sides. Exhale away. And they want to slide in as you change sides. Change. Glide and slide. Now just make sure your hips not lifted up. Five more to go. Down. There you go. 
up. And then, if you're really going for it, at the, only at the very top of the move, your glutes will switch on. They'll squeeze a little bit, then relax them, and come down. Three more, three. Thank you. 